All right, John, real quick, I just wanted to give you a heads up on how you can add grade items to the grade book. Um, what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to go to setup. So click on grade book, then click on setup. Um, after you click setup, then you can see this already has these big white ones are called categories and then the smaller items are called assignments. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make a category for homeworks, quizzes and tests. Um, let me see if I can do this in one of my other courses. Uh, pick something out real quick. Um, <clears throat> here, we'll just do it in here in an older course. Um, so you're in this course, you're going to come down here and you're going to click on grades. Hopefully I don't have any in here yet. Um, then you're going to go to setup. All right, so I'm just going to make a new one. So the first thing you want to do is add category. We'll call this one quizzes. And then if you click show more, you can change it as far as whether you're dropping a quiz. Um, so then we're going to go ahead and click save. Exclude empty grades you're going to want to make sure is on as well because that means that it won't be counting those as zeros. So I'm going to make, you're going to make a category for quizzes, category for tests, category for homework. And then once you see now here's our quiz category, now I'm going to go add grade item. So I'm going to click that and then in grade item, we're going to go ahead and type quiz one. Let's say that is worth 10 points. And then you just need to underneath grade category, we're going to pick quizzes. And now what that's going to do is that's going to add that specific assignment down here in my quizzes. So if you need to, when you're ready to enter those, you're just going to go to view and then we're going to go to dual grade book. I'm going to click quizzes and you can see there's that quiz one and then you would just go to column grader and we can go ahead and put those grades in.